Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores. Here to do a quick lesson on how to change my four foot light fixture from fluorescent to LEDs. So what we sell here at our store is a four foot LED that actually, it replaces a four foot light bulb. And what's very cool about this, this is relatively new. This, fix, this bulb can be wired either 110 coming to one end, or 110 coming to each end, or I could even leave the ballast in the fixture and simply plug the bulb in with the ballast in. Now, for most of us, the reason we're going to LEDs is to get rid of the ballast. It's an energy wasting appliance that was required for a fluorescent tube that the new LEDs do not need. So, for you that are lazy, can take this bulb and snap it in here. You're still using the ballast. I gotta say, someday the ballast is gonna fail. What are you gonna do then? So, I say now, take out the ballast and put in the LED bulb. So there's two kinds of fluorescent fixtures. There's fluorescent fixtures that have shunted tombstones. This is a tombstone. A shunted tombstone is one that only has one wire going to it. So both poles only get one wire. This yellow wire feeds both sides of all these tombstones. A non-shunted tombstone has got two wires going to it to the two contacts. So a non-shunted tombstone will go to a bulb like this where it says L and N. That's neutral, which stands for the white wire. So you get the line, which is usually the black wire, and the neutral, which is the other. So if I'm using this if I have these kinds of tombstones and it suits me that I want to feed the tombstone separately, I can put the black and the white wire to each side of this. When I plug in this bulb, that bulb is going to light. Easy business. Or I have a fixture such as the one that we're showing in our demo here. This is a shunted fixture. So one wire, more or less, two wires. One wire is going to all of these. Different wires are going to all of them. So the short way to hook this one up for this bulb, which happens to go both ways, they don't all go both ways. As long as you get an LED bulb that goes both ways, so you can wire it either 110 to one side and the other. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pop out the ballast. We're going to hook up the wires. I'm going to show you how to do it. Just watch me as I go. I'm going to make the yellow wires the neutral or the white wire and I'm going to mark the fixtures when someone puts in the bulbs this is going to be the end side the neutral which it says on the bulb is an N2 or an N3 but they're both going to be the same they're both going to be the neutral This other side, all these wires, are going to be the line side. So I'm just going to put an L there. So when you put the bulb in, that'll be the L off the bulb. The orange wire nut will do the three wires. But I'll have to get one a little bigger to do all these others. Notice. No wires exposed out of the wire nuts, and the wire nuts are tight, and none of the wires will pull out of the wire nut. That's properly installed wire nut. The neutral will go to any one of these four tombstones. The line will go to any one of these four tombstones. 
I snap in the bulb right side up. The back side of the bulb is white. That's where the LEDs are. So there's only one way to properly install the bulb. Let's see how I did. Simple as that. We took this four foot, relatively inefficient fluorescent fixture and that fast, we just turned this thing into an LED fixture. The bulbs are around $13 a bulb. They're not cheap. They'll be coming down. You need to know what kind of tombstones they are. You need to be able to buy a bulb that is a multi-function bulb. So there it is. Convert your fixtures to new modern stuff. Easy way from MrHardware.com.